every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. He is a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Let us find out why. <laughs> Let's take a close look at Grinch's file. Subject is a green fur clad biped, possibly a primate. He has red eyes known to change in highly charged positive emotional states to the color blue, and he also has a heart two sizes too small. The Whoville Wikipedia states that the Grinch is known to be of a different species than the Who's, possibly a what? Moreover, according to Chad Orzel in his article on science blogs How Strong Was the Grinch, the green one is as strong as 10 Grinches plus two, implying a Grinch is its own species. The subject's disposition is known to be as foul as a sauerkraut sandwich with arsenic sauce. In fact, he could be described as antisocial, neurotic, aggressive, depressive, vindictive, and possibly fulfilling a need for power by exploiting the compliant personality of his dog, Max. The Grinch's remote location and social isolation may be a factor in his deep-seated anger and desire for vengeance against the Who's down in Whoville. Consider the research of University of Chicago's John Cacioppa, who had volunteers, some of whom were identified as socially isolated, undergo F MRI as they looked at photographs. He found that when both groups, the lonely and non-lonely, looked at photos of happy people doing happy things, their brains increased in blood flow to the reward area. Except that the lonely people's response was lackluster in comparison to the non-lonely people. But here's the kicker. When it came to unpleasant photos, the visual cortex of lonely subjects responded much more strongly to unpleasant images of people than to unpleasant images of objects. This was not the case for non-lonely participants. According to David Salvo, writing for Psychology Today, people with an acute sense of social isolation appear to have a reduced response to things that make most people happy, and a heightened response to human conflict, not unlike our Grinch. As for the noise, noise, noise of the who's that haunts our subject so, it's possible that those sounds of Christmas merriment fall within the 2,000 to 5,000 hertz range, which is known to become amplified in the human ear canal and cause anxiety in some people. In any case, in a stroke of poetic justice, it was the who noise that may have triggered the subject to undergo a life-changing epiphany. After the Grinch dressed up as Santa with his antler bedecked dog in tow and stole all the roast beast and presents from the house, the Who's banded together in song rather than sobbing. When the Grinch discovers their dulcet tones rejoicing that it's Christmas, he's met with cognitive dissonance, the sort of schism felt when a person's expectations are violated and he struggles to hold two different beliefs in the mind. The Grinch could have doubled down on his original belief or he could have accepted the situation unfolding before him in a new light, with a new understanding, which is exactly what he did. Christmas, he realizes, is about something more. As for the Who's, they're not mere innocents targeted by a diabolical plot. They are rampant materialists. Chad Orzel's article on science blogs, How Strong Was the Grinch, estimates that each of the 33 Who's in Whoville were hauling in about mm, 6,000 pounds. That's 3,030 kilograms of presents. But why? Perhaps they were trying to stuff the empty husks of themselves with things before the Grinch came along and showed them how insignificant these things really were and how they paled in comparison to a true connection with another person. As for the Grinch's heart growing three sizes that fateful day, there's no good explanation. Maybe the genetic switches were flipped on his who-ness rather than his whatness, or perhaps it was just who sorcery. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Is A Christmas Carol actually a psychedelic journey into the great beyond? Did Ebenezer Scrooge take DMT? Hello, human. Did you know that snowflakes are tiny kingdoms of ice crystals and they could be a clue to galaxy formation? Let's take a close look at Ebenezer Scrooge's file. Subject is a miserly titan of the money lending industry who is visited by multiple ghosts on the eve of Christmas. 